الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل جاء الحق وزاق الباطل إن الباطل كان زوجا رب شلي سطري ويسلي أمري وهل الأبدة من لساني يفقه وكبري أول كم أول فيو ودي السلام الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مي بيس مرسي and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God be on all of you. I was shocked at reading, listening and viewing the media trial done by the Indian media on the Indian satellite television channels, on the news channels as well as in the Indian print media regarding the news article that came in the Daily Star on the 3rd of July 2016 that one of the terrorists who was involved in the terrorist attack in Dhaka in Bangladesh on the 1st of July 2016 was inspired by Dr. Zakir Naik. And just a couple of days later the same Daily Star of Bangladesh, it gave an article that they never ever said that the terrorist was inspired by Dr. Zakir Nai for killing innocent human beings. They have retracted the statement and they also rectified the statement that when they mentioned I was banned in Malaysia, it was an error. I want to know the Indian media, the Indian satellite news channels, the Indian print media, the vigor and the amount that they publicized that I was responsible for inspiring the Bangladeshi terrorist and I inspired terrorists for the last few days they have been giving as headlines that I inspire terrorists and I am a terrorist also. I want to know, will the Indian media, the satellite channels and the newspapers run the apology in the same vigor, in the same big manner, giving in headlines that since the source where they got this information from has retracted its information, will the Indian media do the same? And I'm sure they will not do it. That is the reason. In the next one hour, I would be giving the replies, if not to all, at least most of the major allegations laid by the media regarding myself and my activities. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he open the doors of the listeners and may they be guided to the truth. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81. Allah says, وَقُلْ جَعَلَكْ وَزَاكَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلِ كَانَ الزَّوْكَ When truth is heard like in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. وَأَخْرِ الدَّعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ allegations by the Indian media is that Zakir encourages suicide bombing. One Indian news channel went to the extent of saying that Zakir says let's have suicide bombing and he is a crazy fanatic. Now, where do they get this information from? I don't know. Yes, there were a few occasions, there were questions asked that what does Islam have to say about suicide bombing? And almost all the times, I made it very clear that as far as Islam is concerned, suicide bombing used for terrorist attacks and killing innocent human beings is totally prohibited in the Quran. As far as suicide bombing is concerned, most of the Islamic scholars, including Sheikh bin Baz, including Sheikh Utaymi, they say, that suicide bombing in all cases is prohibited. But there are some scholars like Sheikh Safar al-Hawali 
who say that if suicide bombing is used as a strategy of war, it is permitted. I will give you the views of both these groups of scholars. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maidah, chapter number 5, verse number 32, that if anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. I make it very evident that suicide bombing used for killing any innocent human being for any terrorist attack is private in Islam. But I also went on to say some of the times, not all the times, that if it is used as a strategy of war with the permission of the army chief, it can be permitted. And we know that suicide bombing has been used as a strategy in war. We know that even in Japan, in the World War II, Japan had the kamikaze pilots who did suicide bombing. And as far as suicide bombing is concerned, if you read the book by Robert Pape, who is an associate professor in the University of Chicago, he wrote a book by the name of Dying to Win. And he is a specialist in terrorist attacks and on suicide bombing. And he says that the first time that suicide bombing became infamous was when Ignity Greenwoods he did the first suicide bombing on 13th of March 1881. You are the first person who did suicide bombing and became infamous for that. In the last century, the first time suicide bombing was done, according to Robert Pape, was by LTTE. That's the Liberation Tamil Tigers, LM, also known as Black Tigers. And it was a Hindu organization. They were LTT. But it would be foolish for me to say that Hinduism encourages suicide bombing. And we know lately, in the last couple of decades, we hear that suicide bombing have been done by Muslims, etc. And Robert Pape says that never ever have Muslims been heard of the suicide bombing until America occupied Iraq. And he says that all the suicide bombing that were done, it was not because of religion, it was mainly a political act because they were against certain government. So if you read the experts, you'll come to know. As far as I'm concerned, I'm totally against suicide bombing where innocent people are killed. It is against Islam and it is the second major sin in Islam. Killing any innocent human being is the second major sin in Islam. Please don't pick up some statements of mine out of context and misquote me and give a wrong impression about my views. One of the allegations by the Indian media is that Peach TV is illegal. I would like to inform you that Alhamdulillah, Peach TV is a legal satellite television channel. It is a spiritual entertainment channel which is uplinked from Dubai as well as from London. It has two separate legal uplinking licenses from Dubai, that's from the Dubai Media City, as well as from UK, that's in London. And both the places where it's uplinked from, it has a separate license and both the bodies are independent and both the bodies have two separate board of directors. And from Dubai, it covers Asia, Middle East, Africa, Australia and from London, it covers Europe and America. And Alhamdulillah today, Peace TV is broadcast almost in all the countries of the world. And Alhamdulillah, it has a viewership, the complete network of about 200 million viewers. Many of you may not be aware that certain countries require downlinking permission. Though most countries in the world do not require downlinking permission. But there are certain countries like UK, Pakistan, India, which require a downlinking permission. And one of the most difficult countries to get the downlinking permission, which has the strictest law, it is UK. And Alhamdulillah, Peace TV applied to the UK Information and Broadcast Ministry 
and Beach TV has got the downlinking permission as well as the uplinking permission. When Beach TV applied for a downlinking permission to the Indian INB, Indian Information Broadcasting Ministry, the permission for downlinking the channel was refused. It was again applied and again it refused and they did not give any reason for that. So, Peach TV doesn't have permission for being downlinked. So, the Peach TV itself is not an illegal channel, but for cable operators to show, they require downlinking permission. Otherwise, the Peach TV is a legal entity. What I would like to know that why has not the Indian government or the Information and Broadcasting Ministry given permission for Peach TV to be downlinked. And I would like to know the reason. Just by saying it's confidential is not sufficient. I would like the Indian government or the INB to show me a single program of Peach TV which they feel is not conducive for the Indian society or which is breaking the laws of the Indian constitution or the Information and Broadcasting Ministry. And I'm waiting for the reply. Today, in the world, there are more than 27,000 satellite channels. All channels put together, news channels, entertainment channels, sports channels, production channels, out of which less than 1,000 have got downlinking permissions from India. So if you say just because Peach TV doesn't have the downlinking permission, it's illegal, then you have to say that more than 26,000 channels of the world, that is more than 96% of the satellite channels in the world are illegal. That is the reason. Just because Peach TV doesn't have a downlinking permission in India, that doesn't mean it is illegal.